What's that red light? It's <laughs> <laughs> <just> turned off. <laughs> so, right. Make this. Would you like to, what is it, to, to receive this? Would you like gift? to receive this yeah. gift of eternal life? If they, uh, the answer is yes, then what? Then you uh, clarify the, the, the whole thing. The whole thing. So what do you like say in the clarification? Well, you say something like, uh, uh, you must receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and the fact that he died for your sins on the cross. And if you accept that and accept him, uh, oh no, no, we have to have some re repentance of sins. And well, this is repent. the way it goes according to the card. Does this make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. Would you like to receive the gift of eternal life? Yes. This is the most important decision a person ever makes. That's important that you impress them with the seriousness of what you're saying. So let me clarify it for you again. One, you receive eternal life by transferring your trust to the resurrected and living Christ. Two, you receive him as your Savior and your Lord. Now you must repent and want to become a responsible member in God's family. You've got the concept of repentance, of receiving, of transferring your trust to him rather than good works, you know, or material things. And then your question, is this what you want to do? Yes. And then if this is really what you want to do, we can pray. I can lead us in prayer. We will tell him uh, what you just now told me. How about going through that then? Does this make sense to you? And you respond and let's see if you can go through it. Okay. Yeah. Does this make sense to you and all we've been talking about here? Yes, it does. This, uh, would you like to receive? Would you like to receive each, the gift of eternal life? Yes, I would. This is the most important question you'll really ever answer. The most important decision you'll ever make. And uh, So let me clarify it for you. Make sure you understand what let you're doing. Clarify it and make sure you understand what's, what's happening. That really two things. You receive eternal life by transferring your trust, you see, to the resurrected and living Christ. Transferring trust. Right. Transferring key. trust. That's the key. You're no longer trusting good works. You're no loss, longer trusting your own goodness. But you admit that you are a sinner and you are surrendering. You're transferring your trust uh, to the resurrected Christ. And secondly, you receive him as your Savior and your Lord. You transfer all of this trust to him. And secondly, you receive him as Lord. Thirdly, you, you repent of your sins. You know, <coughs> the term Lord is kind of a religious sounding term and I wonder I wonder how many people you know 
really have a have a picture of what that means. Would there be a uh, clarification of that, you think, uh, in what we're talking about here? I wouldn't unless they ask. But if they do ask, you better have an answer. <laughs> well, I looked it up in the dictionary. Okay, what did you find? The term Lord means master. And if you look up master, uh, it has all kinds of meanings, but basically it's uh, the one who is in control. Okay. Well, if they ask you, you better have this kind of, a, of an answer. But I frankly wouldn't raise the question yourself unless you want to get into a long um, dissertation on it. Because they may not be hung up at that point. But it's always good to know what the questions might be because then you're ready for them if they come. Okay, then what? So you got what? First of all, receive eternal life by transferring your trust. Your trust. Secondly, you receive Jesus him as your Lord Savior, Savior and Lord. Thirdly, you repent, repent of your sins and, and uh, become well, a member of the forever family. Yeah, now, frankly, the latter part I think is trivia, but that's my problem. If you want to use it, fine. I think it's I think it's you good. Think it's helpful. Okay. Because what it says is, uh, you, you don't you, you don't just sit here in your home, receive Christ, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Now you go out and have fellowship with His people. All right. Uh, if you find that helpful, then use it. Repent of your sins and become a responsible member in the family, forever family of God. And then your question, of course, is this what you want to do? The answer is yes, hopefully. Then that follows by prayer. If, if this is what you want to do, always keep the burden on them. If this is what you want to do, then let us pray. And you can tell God what you've told me. And I'll lead you in the Spirit. And then your prayer should include those items. You pray for him to understand and believe the gospel. You pray with him to repent of his sin and trust in Christ alone. And then you assure him, you pray for him a prayer of assurance that he has been forgiven. He has received. It is his, and you thank God for it. But you have to do it in short sentences so he can pray it right after yeah. you. Mm -hmm. 